Welcome back, guys. I've got a question for you. What I want to know is, why don't you lot like me? Every time I build something nice that I'm happy with, one of you lot has to come along and leave a comment that makes me bloody change it all. Let's have a look at this. Look, this is really nice, right? It's nice, simple, elegant. And then one of you comes along and says, why don't you put in a power plant? And initially, of course, I go to myself, well, it's because I don't have a renewable form of refined metals yet. Um, for, for those of you who don't know, the power plant um, enables you to tune up, he says with air quotes, uh, tune up uh, generators to produce 50% more power, but it uses up refined metals. And I don't have a, like a renewable source of refined metals yet. Mm, but I will have in the future, because over here I've got uh, an iron volcano hidden behind here. And if you want to know how to do that, watch the last video. How to find out what's behind uh, a, a, a hidden ge geezer. Um, so, uh, but so then I was thinking, well, yeah, I, I, I mean, I will have renewable iron in the future. And then I was like, yeah, but you know what? I don't even produce, I don't even produce enough hydrogen to keep one hydrogen generator like running all the time. And if you're going to do this, basically what happens is. You produce microchips, which are then put into the generators, which last for three days, three cycles. And then, um, but you want that generator running, like to get the most out of it, you want that generator running all the time because the buff wears out whether the generator is running or not. So, so then I was like, well, powering up my hydrogen generator isn't gonna work because they don't run all the time. Like I couldn't even get one running all the time. I, I'm not producing enough hydrogen for that. So then I was like, well, I suppose I could do it with a natural gas generator. And yeah, and I've been umming and ahhing about this for like the last 24 hours, agonizing about it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Um, let's deconstruct that. Get rid of that. Uh, somebody else pointed out, by the way. Oh, let, me know, let, me, let me tell you what's going down on here. Down here. Um, down here. Uh, I'm just I'm just making this three wide down here, and then um, I'm putting in a room so that we can pump the uh, natural gas out of here. Now, uh, talking of natural gas, we go up here. I've installed a mod, which is called the um, the calculated average geezer output, I think, and it adds this line to the description, which actually calculates how much the uh, uh, geezer uh, produces over its lifetime, over its lifetime, on average. Uh, because like this says it's producing um, 238 grams per second, right? But it only produces that while it's erupting. And this only erupts for 605 seconds out of every 780 seconds. But that's only while it's active. And this is only active for like 75 cycles. And then it's dormant for like, what, 41 cycles? So, uh, so yeah, this just calculates it all out. I mean, you've got all the information. All this mod does is just do the calculation for you. I think this should be in the standard game. So on average, we produce 100, and, let's say 120 uh, grams per second. So that only powers up like one of these uh, these generators. Um, that is on the low end of what a, a geezer will produce, though. So I'm hoping that this will produce a bit more. But we do also have to power the grill with gas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two natural gas generators running all the time. Now this is going to give me more problems because I'm gonna have to cool them down if they're running all the time um, so yeah what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over here deacon uh, not deconstruct cancel deconstruct disable that building priority 9 go um, I don't really want them coming down here you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of those don't really need that ladder anymore let's get rid of that ladder Okay, so the reason that I'm disabling that building, let's speed this up now. The reason I'm disabling this building is because, uh, I'm going to have to put a tile in there, is because if you disable it, it'll stop the flow of gases out of it. So then this pipe will be cleared because I'm going to have to rip this out and move everything around. It's going to be a nightmare. All right. Now, somebody pointed out also that this is a bit of a carbon dioxide trap here. Now, the carbon dioxide can get out here, 
but of course heavy gases go down and to the right. They can get out there, but this corner is sealed off. So in actual fact, this is a good thing because what I'm going to do is deconstruct that. Actually, let's do, let's do it this way. Uh, buildings. Uh, deconstruct that one. And that one I can just replace with an airflow tile. Um, let's do this with iron. So let's have uh, that going in there. And then I want a pneumatic door. Flip that around, pop that in there. We've got to wrangle these hatches. Thank you, priority A and wrangle priority A. Get, get you put back in your room. Hatch production's going well. We've got an egg there. We've got we've got a couple of hatchlings running around there. They'll be going down here soon. And we've got like three eggs incubating up there. So it's all going well. It's all going well. Alrighty, so what am I going to do up here? I'm going to have a plastic ladder coming down there. I'm going to have a fireman's pole coming down there. I'm going to leave this open in case I ever want to run this transit tube down there. So that means I'm going to have my doors there. So we're going to have doors, 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 doors. So I want natural gas generator. And I want it made out of gold amalgam because that gives me plus 50 degrees overheat temperature. So I will put that in there and that in there. All right, cool. And then I'm going to want a couple of mesh tiles. Uh, that's handy. There. What am I making these out of? Iron. There and there. Okay, so that's good. Right. Now let's have a look at this. Right, so I can rip some of this stuff out now. I can rip out those pipes rip out those pipes up to there cool and then I'm gonna want insulated gas pipe going down there and into there down there and into there and I'm gonna want a regular gas pipe to bring out the co2 that can go down there like that or a gas vent there and that can be got rid of Hooray! Okay, good news. Okay. Um, now that of course means oh, I'm going to have to put a mesh tile there as well. Which means I'm going to have to put a little reservoir down here. So I'm going to have to move my reservoir over. God, what a pain this is. Run that over there. Get rid of those. Deconstruct that tile. Right, I'll let them get all that built. Same as that one and then I'll put the, put the lid on it. Alright, sweet. Next, 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 what next? Uh, next, I can rip out these, can't I? So deconstruct, deconstruct, and deconstruct. Hooray. Okay, so this is all good. That's all set up. Right, now. Ah, uh, now the power. This is what's going to mess everything up. Because, um, let's see. Okay, first of all, deconstruct that, deconstruct that. I, I don't I don't really need to do this, but I kind of want to do this. Well, actually, I need to remove those to make this into a single room. Hmm. Um, but I'm going to put I'm going to put a ladder down there, I suppose. I don't really need to do that, but I'm going to do that. Okay. And then, I'm going to put, well, let's, you know what, let's um, open, lock that, open and lock that, open and lock that. So I've got, a, I've got a bit of room in here to put in, um, some cooling via a wheezewort. All right, so let's get Weasel plant, and uh, actually, no, I want that set to six. Copy settings to there. All right, so so we can keep these cool. This is something I didn't really have to worry so much about before, but these are going to be running 100% of the time now, so I'm going to have to keep them cooler. Um, this is a temporary solution. I mean, I'm going to put water cooling in at some point. All right, so then I can have door, 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 door there, and that seals that up. Okay, this needs to be ripped out. Um, yeah. Yeah, deconstruct that. And 
rip out. See, I had, like everything was just nice straight lines. It was so nice. And then you guys come along and say, do something different. <sighs> Man. Um, all right, so let's rip that out. I'd still like to try and keep this kind of, sort of nice, but it's going to be really hard because uh, I want to try and keep the, the decor in this area good, which means I've now got to start thinking about hiding my heavy wires, which is a real pain. If I want my, uh, my automation wires to go straight down, then I'm going to have to put my battery... Uh, uh, it's there, isn't it? Let's have a look. Does that give me... Yes. Okay. Uh, this, this could be tough. This could be tough. I'm going to try and do this, though. Um, so, if that's coming down there, what do I want? Oh, automation wire coming straight down there. Right. So, that what, what, what does that mean for my heavy watt wire? I'm going to have to run the wire up now. It's going to have to be like that, isn't it? Like that. Yep. Yep. So, can I can I overlay this? Um, we'll see. Yes, I can. So, it's going to be like that, that, that. And then we want heavy watt wire going up there and going up there. Now, I mean, I could have like just run it straight in and run it down there and not worried about the decor and whatever. But I kind of want to worry about the decor. Right, um, so what do I want now? I want stations, and I want the power control station. This is too wide. It looks like it should be four wide, but it's actually only two wide. I suppose I could put it there. You know what? If I put it there... Um, oh, okay. If I, if I put it there, I could put... What do I want? Furniture. I could put a large sculpting block there, with a bit of crown moulding there. I could fit a blank canvas there. I could then potentially do a couple of blank canvases there. Let's see what that what the what the decor is from that. So I think we'll probably put the 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 closing doors. Oh, you know what? I might try and line them up with that. That would be probably a good idea. Let's try that. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with that. So then, I'd want another statue there, wouldn't I, to balance it out? Try and try and make it kind of sort of look nice. And a bit of crown moulding on the top. We'll see. Well, we'll see what the see what the state of play is with that. All right. So um, as soon as they build those doors, we'll actually get a room. And I suppose there's no reason that we shouldn't enable that building now and start pumping some natural gas. Come on, get this door built. Let's up the priority on that, get that door built. Okay, so we can... Oh, and there we go, we've got our room. Hooray. How many tiles is that? It's 82. So I had a little bit of room. I could have had another 14 tiles to that. So let's do open and lock. Open and lock. And open and lock hooray okay how is the thank you look okay so we've got it we've got it we've got it nulled out oh plus 17 now yeah, well at least it'll be kind of kind of sort of okay but look what a mess that is compared to this, this nice, elegant solution that I had. All right, so how are we going to set these up? I'm going to set this one. We'll set it so, uh, like, this is going to be up to 99. And this is going to kick in at 60. And I'm going to change this a little bit based on some comments that I had some, from someone. So this one, this one's going to kick in at 90. Uh, sorry, this one's going to cut off at 90 and this will kick in at 50 because I do want the hydrogen burned off. So assuming that these are running at plus 50%, um, so that's 800 and 800. So that's increased to 1200 and 1200, which is 2.4 and then 800 from this. So that's like 3.2, that's 3.2 K watts of power like 
all the time which is actually a lot now if we have a look at the map and look at uh, metals just metals so you can see the the yellow is gold uh, or gold amalgam that's the the, the the ore and then the uh, the this kind of rust color is the uh, the iron and you can see it's pretty much 50 50 if anything there might be a little bit more gold it's about but it's about 50 50 so i'll use the gold for now i'll i'll switch once we once we get the iron volcano see the thing is because we've got the iron volcano but i should probably use iron really am i going to switch yeah go on i'll do i'll do iron i'll do iron yeah and there is our first microchip so he's going to pick up a microchip and he's going to start tuning this so you can see currently it's 800 watts but you can see that this takes a long time to install the microchip and i've seriously got to wonder um whether it's really i mean look how long it takes I wonder how much more effective this is than just putting in a blooming Jeep hamster wheel. Because he's he's got to make the microchips, then he's got to install them like this. And you can see how long it takes. But I guess once it's installed, it runs for three days. So uh, We can wrap this up, can't we? Yes, we can. So what do I want to do? I want to put in uh, a couple of mesh tiles like that. And a regular tile there. And now he's fit. So now we get Engie's tune up, which increases the power output by 50%. Okay, great. Awesome source. Right? And this, you can see, time remaining three cycles. Okay, awesome. So we're now getting 1200 watts out of our, uh, out of our uh, natural gas rather than 800. Sweet. And we've got two of those. So that's going to be 1,200, so that's going to be 2.4K, and then plus the hydrogen that I want to burn off. Um, it, it's actually important that we burn the hydrogen off, because otherwise this hydrogen is going to start flooding the base, you know, like gradually, progressively getting lower. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. So I think we can, we can undo these. So enable that building, enable that building, enable that building, and enable that building. That's going to start using up a bit more power. All right. How are we doing down here? Um, okay. What I want to do down here is, say, put water into this. And let's set that to priority eight. Enable auto bottle. Go, go, go. Once we've got the water in here, then I'll put that bit in and then start digging into here what what i want is for this to be a vacuum when i dig this out so that i don't have to put a gas filter in i want to do the same thing up here eventually because at the moment i'm having to run this through a gas filter which is just that's just a waste of like 120 watts of power so yeah so we want to get this done all right let's see that's two bottle loads 400 kilograms so we need three, four, five, six. Yeah, about seven or eight bottle loads more. Will do the job. Awesome. How are we doing up here? Uh, what I want to look at is the is the temperature really. So let's see. You are running at 70, 71. Still going up. Now remember, these are going to be running like basically all the time. Well, actually, they they, they may not be running like literally all the time. But we're going to be we're going to be using more power as we go along. So, um, still around seventy one. Yeah, I, I don't know whether the Weezwarts are going to be able to keep this cool. We, we're going to need some water cooling, I think to keep this under control. We'll have to see. So it's still going up. Now I could throw, I, I could move these, uh, see I can't really move these doors over. So yeah, I would have to put water cooling in. But remember, I have got my extra 
circuit that I haven't used. So I could easily put a water cooling loop in down here to cool these. Oh, 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 don't let this get too much. Let's see, where, where are we up to? Yeah, that's enough. And let's see. Let's let that empty and then say, disable auto bottle. Priority nine. Go. Come on, somebody come and do this. And then what I'm gonna wanna do is put an insulated tile in there. Make that priority eight. Okay, so water bottle's turned off. Good. That's all set. So once that once that gets put in, that should create the seal there. Oh, what the hell is this? Where the hell's that water come from? <laughs> I wonder if I've taken a bit of ice from dug a bit of ice from here it's fallen down here and it's melted that's what's happened yeah that's what's happened it's some melted ice all right so now i think i'm getting to here now if i figured this out right um i want that there now if i dig out if i dig out that and that so this should be a vacuum and it is a vacuum hooray we've kept a vacuum seal so wait all right, so I don't have to put a filter on. That is really good news. Okay, so let's do let's do some some put well some some piping. What do I want? I want insulated gas pipe, which is gonna go. Let's go across, and then I guess we'll run it through there to be tidy. Now I could put a, I could put a wall going down there and run it up there, couldn't I? Or I could just run it in the middle and not care. And then, well, what was that? Don't know. Is that one of you lot suffocating or something? So why is that water gone to there? Mop that up. All right, cool. Um, so, uh, what was I doing? <laughs> I just got completely distracted by that. What the hell was I doing? I don't know. How are my batteries? Batteries are looking good. See, we're not even using what these two are producing. Which, which is good, because it means that we've got excess power. Even with all of these um, transit tubes turned on. Which is pretty impressive. Let's have a look at this. So... We are producing at the moment 2.4, so it's just these two running. But look, power consumed. It is, it is going over like three, four sometimes. So it's going up and down a bit. So what, oh yeah, that's what, so what I was thinking was that I should actually put some, see, see now it's dropping down a bit because we're getting a lot of transit tube usage. What we can actually do with is more batteries, I think. So let's see, base. What do we want? Jumbo batteries. I'm thinking, like, do I put just put some jumbo batteries in? Like, just a few. Or because we want to even out the, the the power usage as much as possible. I might put in. I might. You know what? I might put in a few. Let's put in like. Let's put in like four batteries. It's not a lot, but it'll it'll help. Uh, and then we want some heavy watt wire. Just run across there. We'll put those in for now and we'll see. We'll just see what goes on. But I'm, I'm liking this. All right, how are we doing down here? All right, so there's our natural gas geezer. Come on, guys, get this done. Let's make this, let's make this high priority. Get this stuff done. ASAP. Oh, that's a good point, actually. This, this cool steam vent is in its dormant cycle. Next activity is in 50 cycles. So in actual fact, we need to be putting some extra water into here. What I was gonna do was take some, take some, I was gonna take some water from here, but I'm gonna have to take some water from here. So I'm gonna have to run a pipe up there. Yeah, let's put in a thermo sensor there. And we'll put in a shut off valve. Where is it? Yeah, plumbing, shut off valve, liquid shut off. Put a liquid shut off. 
there, then we'll run a pipe into that, and then out of that, then it's going to have to jump across there, so we want a liquid bridge, flip that around like that, that can go up there and into there, for now, I want to link that to that shutoff valve, and we need to open this up. All right, that's that done. We get the automation wire. Oh, see, so getting scalded. Uh, but that's done now. We just need to get that done, that liquid vent. Come on, somebody do the liquid vent. Then I can shut this. He's delivered the iron. Somebody going to build it? And as soon as that's done, we can shut this door. Lock. Go. Hooray. So, got it done. Man, I, I need to come up with a... Kind of the end game for this. I'm not going to tell you about that. But it may involve a steam turbine. I'm not saying, I'm not saying any more than that. Alright, so, so that'll do for now. That'll, I mean, for now, that'll keep some water pumping in there. Because it's still pretty warm in here. What are we up at? 95. Well, no. See, it's already gone down below 96. It doesn't take much to cool this down. So I tell you what. For now, let's say if this is below, say 70. So we'll just we'll just keep pumping water in there for now. I'll just have to I'll just have to monitor that manually. All right, let's go down here. So what do we want to do here? We want to. Dig that out, don't we? Right, what I'm going to do is dig that out, that out, that and that. And I'm going to leave that tile there. As long as that tile is still in place. So it's it's like, it, like this is the this is the four strip of new, uh, neutronium that's underneath any, any geyser or vent. If you go one across and two up, if you keep that tile blocked, then the geyser will still be blocked and won't produce anything. So what that means is we can get all this dug out, get this wall put in, before we finally dig that out and then everything starts producing. Okay, so let's get, what do I want? Uh, we want to run this pipe up here and then, see, it needs to go up into here, doesn't it? Yeah, so I'm going to have to run it all around like that. And run it all the way down there, if I'm going to be tidy. Okay, so I think we are all done with this. I've put in some uh, insulated tiles down here. I have put in an Atmo sensor, which I've set to 600 grams. So I think we could do this. Um, I th there's no reason to sweep that, I don't think. Okay, let's do it. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. So dig that out. Let's make that. Let's make that a high priority. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Now, we do have to uh, analyze this, but I'm going to put in some Atmo suits, uh, some Exo suits up here before we do that so that uh, so that Lucy can spend like a lot of time down here because she'll, she'll be in an Exo suit with an oxygen supply rather than having to come in and, and then keep going out and grabbing a breath of air and coming back in. And she won't get the wetness debuff either. Hooray! So that's going to be awesome. We just need somebody to come and do this. Somebody going to come and do this? Here we go. Hong Kong breath. And we start producing natural gas. How much do we produce? Oh, look at this. 425. But it only erupts for 300. Well, 283 out of 647. Yeah. That's not... Yeah. Yeah, I think this is going to be, again, 100 grams a second-ish. That, that kind of area. Oh, we got some overheat damage. But that's because of like the, the, the first bunch of gas that came out comes out very, very hot. That's why we want to keep the, um, the pressure. You know what? I might actually keep the pressure a little bit higher. Let's set that to 750. So, just so that we don't get too cold in there. So, where, where are we at? We're at, it's like 70 degrees, 66. Oh, hang on, did I make this out of gold? 
I made it out of blooming iron ore. What a bonehead. Deconstruct that. So, let's try that again. So, gas pump, gold amalgam goes there. Hooray, finally. Priority nine. Get that built for me. Yeah, still replacing a few of these airflow, airflow tiles. So we're still going to have more gold coming in. These these airflow tiles do use up a hell of a lot of material. So, so it's an easy way to get material back if you've used up all of like your gold or whatever, or copper or whatever it is that you want. Um, what was I doing? I was going to look and see how much. See now, look, I've got like 2,300. Yeah, yeah, it's coming back. All right, is this built? Yes, this is built and this is pumping now. Hooray. Awesome source. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got a new source. In it comes. Now, why is that gas kind of stuck there and not going down here? That's a bit weird. Uh, and that's not pumping for some reason. And I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to have to sort that out. But you know what? I'm not kind of too worried about that because I reckon that we need a lot more storage. So I think I'm going to rework these reservoirs because um, it's really annoying me. I, these, this, this ladder should go down here. So I'm, I'm thinking to move these over a couple. So I think probably for the next episode, I'll have moved those over here. Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know why this gas isn't uh, isn't feeding into there. Why isn't that gas feeding into there? That's weird. There's there's gas to be pumped. Right, we're up to two thousand grams. This is set to this is sending a green signal. This is saying pipe blocked. Why is the pipe blocked? That's okay. That filter set to natural gas. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys will tell me why it's uh, why it's not working. That's okay. So what the hell? Why isn't that feeding into there? I don't know, guys. We'll leave it there for this confusing episode. Uh, but the good news is that we have got this running, and it looks it looks like we're doing good on the power now. So I will catch you for the next one. Keep the comments coming in. I guess. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.